Hi all, I am Ashvi. Today we discuss the topic about how to write a novella. In the world of creative fiction, great stories come in all sizes and styles. You have probably read best-selling novels and breezed through some action-packed short stories. A novella is defined as a work of narrative fiction that runs between 20,000 and 50,000 words. Once a story exceeds 50,000 words, it is entering the novel territory. A standard novel is 250 to 300 pages, so you may need a few days to cover. Follow these tips for writing a novella of your own. First one is read lots of novellas. You don't want to start writing a novella if you are never carefully read one. Paying attention to the narrative and stylistic choices, structure and pacing in other novellas will help you craft your own. You might even discover a novella category you never know exceeds. From historical and autobiographical stories to science fiction, gothic and mystery tales, there is a novella type for everyone. Expand your reading list with ideas from our blog's post, features classics novellas. Second one is outline key scenes. If you have written a short story, before you might be surprised to find the process of writing a novella is quite different. The longer structure of a novella demands a more detailed approach. Before you begin writing, think about the main conflicts your characters will encounter. Choose a setting for each, not who is involved and the outcome of each event. Third one is choose a point of view. There are three basic point of view used in fiction writing. Decide which kind of narration makes the most sense for your novella. A lot of stories are told in the first person perspective because it creates a powerful and personal connection with the character telling the story. Second person point of view is not very common in fiction, but it can be effective for certain tales. Third person perspective gives an all powerful narrator outside the story complete access to the characters, leaves, and minds, so it's very popular choice. Fourth one is develop a character arc. You will want to decide where your characters will end up before you begin your novella. Is this a story of crime, revenge, courage, discovery, reward or loss? Use what you know about the character's personality to create a believable path for them. The stronger the character development, the more readers will connect with the story. At last, six one is revise your drafts. Even the most experienced writers need editors. After finishing a draft of your novella, allow time to readers you trust to review it and provide feedback. You can even give them a list of story elements to help focus their comments. Receiving constructive criticism on creative projects is not easy for anyone, but it's an essential part of producing your best work and becoming a better writer. It is similar to novels and short stories. Novelas may be written in a variety of styles on a range of subject matter or themes. These are just few prominent examples of novelas. Gothic literature, science fiction, political satire, mystery, historical fiction, children's literature, autobiographical. Writing novellas doesn't require a big investment in time, so there is no reason not to try. If your story grows into something larger, check out tips for writing short stories and novels. I hope this discussion will be helpful to you. 
follow Lawn Thread Books to learn more about reading, writing and publishing. Thank you.